Very, very unique. I like that. Now, this should be dope right here. Ooh. But that bow is very, very nice. But yeah, let's see it here. Ooh. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out a mod, much like the Summoner mod that we checked out a couple videos ago. And this is a complete archery overhaul. That's the name of the mod. And as we can see, when I open up these chests here, it adds in quite a lot of bows. So we got a lot we're gonna check out here. Let's get right into it. Now, the bow class as a subclass, as it stands as a ranger subclass, is actually not that bad, especially in the current version of Terraria. I just beat bow only in 1.4 recently. Uh, check out my twitch if you want to see the streams the episodes and highlights will be uh, uploaded eventually on the main channel and my second channel but yeah bow only that's a great example of a subclass there's a couple of weaker subclasses in terraria uh, ones that don't even get their own accessories but uh you know a subclass could always use more and this is a perfect mod right here we got armors we got accessories and of course we got a lot more bows including arrows and other stuff now i probably won't be going over recipes just because there's a gonna be a lot of recipes to go over but let's get right into it starting with the armor sets here we have this new set that the mod adds in steel which is also a new ore that it that the mod adds in i believe and i don't think this directly affects archery or bows but let's put it on here let me take my armor off i finally changed my character to not look like chippy the reason why my character was like chippy was because a long time ago when i did the wipeout video with all the other terraria youtubers i needed to get a thumbnail with chippy in it and then i ended up not even even using that thumbnail that's the reason why my character was chippy for so long but set bonus defense defense increased by five yeah it uh, wasn't a bow set i knew that i could just tell right away it's just an or or armor all right on to the next the actual first bow set here the robin hood set as we can see increases range damage let's go ahead and put it on oh yes look at that my character loses his beard i'm glad they fixed that in 1.4 but look at that the little wiggly tongue on my hat <laughs> but we look cool we look cool if i had my beard i'd look cooler but what's the set bonus here 20 percent chance to not consume arrows very very nice on to the next two sets here let me just grab both of them we have the hunter's hood or the hunter set in just general in general and it just increases a lot of damage here critical strike chance movement speed from the greaves and this set looks cool as hell i can still see my character's hand moving in the back so i don't know about that but uh what's a set bonus increases increased invisibility length invincibility invincibility not invisibility so we get hit it's pretty much like the cross necklace we're gonna be uh invincible for a little bit longer have a little bit more eye frames but yeah this set looks cool i like how they used the, uh the cloak that you usually can get from the traveling merchant on to the next set the apollo set which i believe is the last set in this mod and this mod doesn't need to add too many archer sets just because you know the ranger class usually covers most of it in vanilla terraria already but yeah the apollo set here let's see the set bonus after we go through everything so you guys can see but the set that bonus is permanent effects of the archery potion that's very nice that's a 20 percent damage boost right the archery potion that's a great potion right there that's that's one of the good things about the uh archery subclass or bow subclass you get a potion that literally gives you damage which is amazing but yeah this is a great set here looks cool too i love it on to the next set of stuff we have these sort of like random grab bags in here the first one is a starter bag so let me just pop this open here contains an assortment of archery goods let's see boom we spawn into the world what do we have gave us a copper bow a string used to make bows cobweb which i'm assuming you can make string out of and then it gives us a bunch of tier one arrow pouches very very nice let me go ahead pop in pop open these tier one arrow pouches see what we get okay we get a lot of cool arrows some of them new i believe yeah sandstone arrow uh arrow grenades lesser archery potion so this mod adds in arrow grenades and they do exactly what you expect they explode into a bunch of arrows very very unique i like that i like how they added in a whole other way to attack other than you know just shooting arrows so props to them for that but yeah that was the starter bag and the first arrow pouch let's go ahead let's see these other ones here uh including these poison and frozen ones Let, let's pop these ones open first i'm not going to show off the arrows yet we'll do that later we'll go over a, a bunch of the new arrows later but i will go over the grenades that we get venomous arrow grenade let's see this in action here i'm assuming these work like regular grenades i don't know i guess let's test it out on an enemy see if it impact explodes it does, but there's no arrows when it does that, which is a little upsetting. But yeah, let's pop open the ice one here. We got snowball arrows, frostburn grenade. Come on, this has to apply frostburn. It doesn't apply frostburn. Okay, that's that's a little that's a little bit upsetting. Hopefully they figured that coding out because that could be a little annoying. 
because it's definitely way harder to hit enemies with the long explosion than it is to directly hit them with a grenade but yeah on to the next here let's throw these away let's start with the tier 2 arrow pouch marble arrows we get more potions and we get flaming arrow grenade which is just flaming arrows from a grenade i expect yes sir next up we got the tier 3 one more marble arrows flaming arrow grenade sky drop grenade interesting let's see this in action here okay all right that's it the arrows go up and then they go down what hath god wrought next up arrow pouch for explosive arrows granite arrows or granite arrows uh okay nothing too crazy and then the last one which gives us just a lot of vanilla arrows a lot of good vanilla arrows holy arrows are amazing but the grenades are pretty much exactly the same okay so not bad i'm assuming maybe you just randomly get that throughout time like those arrow pouches which can be very useful for getting a bunch of arrows especially if they drop fairly often on to the next chest here which is the accessory chest i might need a bow for this give me just like a regular well what's like a decent regular bow the marrow no the marrow is actually kind of good maybe like a demon bow there you go all right so let's see here i didn't really organize anything here in a particular order uh let's just start grabbing stuff let's start with the shields i guess sure why not so let me just see before even like reading stats does it have have an animation does it pop up on our character when we put these on yes now i'm hoping all the accessories do that or at least all the ones that can do that because that seems like a good start already they're already paying attention to details but yeah we got this basic war shield here three defense five percent decreased movement speed uh it is a material i'm assuming you craft this with this and then you craft this with that but yeah the next one five percent five defense seven percent decreased movement speed six defense seven percent increased movement speed look at that let me just make sure these all have a sprite too yeah Yes, sir. Beautiful. You love to see it. On to the next set of stuff here. Let's get these targets. And I ain't talking about the store either. So we got this first one. 5% increased error arrow fuck five percent increase arrow critical strike chance arrow penetration increased by one that is very very nice now i wonder if this yeah see this one honestly didn't expect to have a accessory sprite because uh, i don't know what the hell it would be if it didn't have one and then we got the reinforced one which gives you more damage and even more arrow pen so if i put this on well, let's just do it like this i summon in a zombie our arrows don't pen they are doing a cool effect though you guys see that right but if i put this on now let's summon in uh two zombies hello it should pen and penetrate or is the penetration just defense penetration it might just be defense penetration i don't know what these effects are but they're pretty cool <laughs> okay so it's that type of penetration defensive penetration that's that's what i'm assuming all right on to the next stuff here let's get some more of the random stuff out of the way like these boots and let's get these like stones out of the way so this mod adds in a couple of its own boots rogue boots it allows the wearer to run insanely fast of course is there a sprite though there's no sprite is that just like a coincidence or something uh, is a mod messing it up no there's no sprite for it uh we got the apprentice treads allows flight the wearer can run super fast what do you mean by allows flight can i put it here no it's just uh the type of flight that uh the specter boots give you i'm assuming yeah also no sprite for that at least on your character and master treads these ones do they give us actual flight okay sometimes it grants a shadow dodge which is not bad so they got some good stats on them but uh there's no sprite and there's not actual flight for them which honestly is expected i feel like the only mod that has flight boots is calamity and maybe like one or two other mods but yeah on to these stones we got stones one of the four stones of the ancient archers mobility is greatly improved releases electric arrows when hit so if i get hit i release electric arrows or do the arrows okay okay so it is when i get hit oh and you saw it right there am i not in god mode holy <laughs> i thought i was in god mode i am in god mode but it's still like counting the touch. This is amazing. <laughs> Get him my own fireworks show. All right, on to the next. The earthen arrow stone. Earthen arrow stone? That's a weird word to say. Earthen? Releases stone arrows when hurt. Movement speed reduced by 10%. Yes, everything that revolves with earth reduces your movement speed in like every mod. Oh, the arrow's gonna hit him. Oh, that's a headshot. All right, what about the next one? Flaming arrows. I bet I can assume what this does. That's the only thing it does. There's no like other special effect. It just releases flaming arrows. Very nice. These ones seem to do the most damage too. All right, and the last one is dripping arrow. Releases oceanic arrows. Let me see what these do. Do they drown things? I would expect them to drown things. Like that's their special effect. But I guess we won't know because this zombie is not taking any damage. All right, and last but not least, when you combine all four of them together, you get the elemental arrow 
of stone, which I'm assuming, yeah, just gives you the effect of everything. Grants immunity to knockback and fire blocks. That's interesting because I don't think the other stuff gave you any of that. But yeah, let's see it here. Oh, that boy got destroyed. I bet it was the flaming arrows doing all the damage. But that's very cool. Very unique accessory there. Uh, no, like, animation on anything. If I were to choose an animation for this, personally, I would have, like, a little stone floating around your character. I think that would look cool. But yeah, there you go. There, there was those accessories. And let's take some more accessories out. Let's start with this one. Sharp Flint increases arrow damage. So our Endless Quiver does 5 range damage. Would we put that on? 5% uh, of 5 is not a lot. So we're not really going to see a big outcome there. But they just do more damage damage just know that it's a little bit but they do more damage it also is a material which i said we weren't gonna check our recipes i just want to check okay but yeah rogues ring movement speed greatly increased i'm assuming that goes into these boots or something uh we got the sherwood bracer gives us defense left by the hooded man a 15 percent increased range damage increased arrow pen increased arrow drop chance again does not have a sprite that's kind of upsetting that like only the shield so far were the only thing that have a sprite like not even the boots and i was giving the mod props too for the shields i gotta take my props back i'm sorry but yeah let's shoot arrows at the zombie that ah, feels the same to me arrow carver five percent increased range critical strike chance two percent increased arrow damage nice I'll, I'll put it on for a second nope nothing and then homing sensor arrows will home in on the enemy put this on and let's see this in action uh it's not the greatest homing i don't know maybe i'm just not shooting good enough arrows but i can definitely feel the arrow definitely forcing itself a little bit like the curve on the arrow looks like it wants to go down really hard but yeah there are those accessories and now on to the ones i'm most interested in which is all these quivers so terraria itself does have a couple of quivers in terms of accessories and then with the new 1.4 update there's a couple more quivers alongside the magic quiver or that are upgrades of the magic quiver and they're pretty good but let's look at what quivers this mod adds in 20 percent chance to not consume arrows nice and simple is there an animation there is thank you i love to see it. not an animation a sprite on my back which is very beautiful and look at that when i shoot the bow the bow that's on my back disappears that's that's really nice detail see this mod is confusing me man does it want to be detailed with this stuff or does it not want to be maybe they just care only about the bows which is understandable but we got this next one here hunter's quiver gives us some damage chance to not consume arrow and archer's main accessory that's facts uh looks exactly the same i believe i actually know there's a little bit more detail on it like a little like iron or silver on it very nice on to the next one flaming one converts wooden arrows into flaming arrows isn't that the accessory in 1.4 now i think it is something like that yeah we shoot flaming arrows beautiful and the quiver on our back also is flaming strange quiver turns wooden arrows into ram random arrows changes in hard mode now this one this is a really unique one right here and i like this one the most so far it's a very unique idea it's a cool way to add on to the archer and make it even cooler and uh you know that's that's an a plus that's an s tier item to me right there next up mechanical quiver gives us a bunch of increase in stats and gives us the effects of the mystic quiver which one is the mystic one? Oh, so maybe i was supposed to show off the mystic one first magically creates arrows what does that mean so does that mean if i take off the endless quiver oh no that's what they meant okay so when i'm walking around it just randomly shoots out arrows okay okay so if i put the mechanical one on which maybe these stack if they allow me to put multiple on uh it has the effects of the mystical quiver and then we just have really high stats too and everything else so that's, that's very good right there the quiver is probably my favorite accessory in the mod my bad for missing the last two accessories but here they are you can read their stats on the screen very nice okay on to what everyone wants to see here and that is the bows i tried to arrange them in damage uh but this probably still not really in order here because maybe something has low damage but the arrows have a special effect who knows but yeah we got the cactus bow you wanted it now you have it i never wanted it let's see it in action though it's a cactus bow all right next up we got the wooden fusion bow it's exotic i'll be the judge of that Ooh, okay this thing shoots really fast. We got the hunter's bow. You hunt things. That's a fact. That's usually what hunter bows are used for. Just a plain old bow. Next up, the frost bow. Turns wooden arrows into frost burn arrows. That's that's really nice. Even though frost burn arrows aren't that hard to get. But this is still really a nice effect to have. Next up, we got the rapid bow. It's fast. Faster than the fusion bow? I'll be the judge of that. I don't know. This kind of feels the same. Uh, 
Now it's even it's slower than the fusion bow. After that, we got the repeater bow. Shoots two arrows in quick succession. That sounds really cool. Let's see it in action here. I like that. That's unique. That's different. After that, we got the sandstone bow. Converts wooden arrows into sandstone arrows. So let's look at uh, sandstone arrows here. What, what do those do? The so sandstone arrow. The sandstorm arrows and sandstone arrow. High velocity confusing arrows. So we're going to make the zombie walk towards us. No, he doesn't feel like it. Okay, still cool though. So there's going to be a lot of gem arrows. Uh, for example, the first one we're looking at here shoots amethyst arrows. Do amethyst arrows just do more damage? That's probably what I'm going to assume here. We can pull up the mod really quickly here though and see what looks like an amethyst. Okay, maybe there is an amethyst arrows actually in the mod. <laughs> It's just an effect, a special effect. Because I'm not seeing any amethyst arrows. Next up, we got the topaz bow. Shoots topaz arrows. After that, boomerang bow. Randomly shoots arrows in any direction. And it says, now this, this scares me. What the heck? Whoa. And you also like throw the bow. This is a cool bow right here. <laughs> I'm liking how some of the bows are really, really unique. Which is definitely adding a lot of flavor to this mod. The magma bow sets wooden arrows ablaze. I mean, I guess this is pretty useful, but at the same time, it's not like fire arrows are hard to get. Like, I kind of wish it added in like an even stronger fire arrow or something. Sapphire arrow. You, we know what this does. It shoots sapphire bows. Wait, no, I'm saying that in reverse. Uh, we got the meteoroic burst. Summons meteoric hell upon your enemies. Oh, okay. This is very cool. After that, we got the rapid fire. It's even faster. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty fast. All right. Surge bow. Turns wooden arrows into oceanic arrows. I still don't know what the hell oceanic arrows do, but there they are. Uh, steel bow. Converts wooden arrows into steel arrows. Okay. Again, more stuff using the steel that is added in from this mod. Next up, we got the mechanical bow. Rapidly shoots inaccurate arrows. Wow, that's fun. This is like the, uh, what is it, the Gatligator? Something like that. Which I actually do like the Gatligator. It's kind of one of my favorite guns in the game. Just because, you know, you get some chlorified arrows and this thing's pretty nice. All right, next up, eye shot. Shoots high velocity mini eyes of Cthulhu. Now that's cool. That's cool. That's very unique. I'm assuming you get this from the eye or something. Emerald bow shoots emerald arrows, of course. Gem spark bow shoots three powerful arrows, which I'm assuming. Oh, no, they are different arrows. I was going to assume that it just shot like different gem arrows. I do like when bows shoot a lot of arrows, though, because they're definitely way better, way more fun to use when they shoot a lot of arrows. And next up, we got the longbow. There's not much to it. It's just, it's just a longbow. OK, we're starting to enter into the 20 damage range. But let's start with this one here. The lunar bow summons a fallen star. Nice. So it's pretty much just like a star fury, but a bow version. We got the amber bow. Don't even need to say what it does. Actually, it shoots sandstone arrows. It doesn't shoot amber arrows. Uh, we got jungle shot. Turns wooden arrows into venom arrows. Now this, this might be good because venom arrows, they're pretty top tier. I was using venom arrows at the end of my bow only playthrough. Uh, as you can see, look at this. The zombies are starting to drop some monster hide. And I know there's a couple of drops from different creatures and stuff that you can make bows out of. Next up, the ruby bow. You know what it does. Next up, the clockwork bow shoots three arrows in quick succession. That's what I like to see. So it's pretty much like that clockwork rifle, but it's a bow. After that, sandstorm bow converts wooden arrows into a wave of sand. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. And we got a diamond bow which I believe this is our last gem bow. All right, now we should be entering some of the hard mode bows, I believe. We have the trout spout, which is a donator item. Turns wooden arrows into a trout with an evil agenda. Very nice. We got the swift shot. May your arrows go swift and far. Let's see how swift this is. Okay, it's pretty quick. You get some better arrows on here. Like, you can do some serious damage. Long shot. I'm assuming this just shoots very long i don't know it kind of looks like average length right now uh we got the metal burst shoots a mesh of steel interesting freeze flame bow converts wooden arrows into ice and fire this is really cool shoots two of them it should include that because I, I thought it was just gonna you know like take turn or just apply frost burn and just fire but no it shoots two arrows dual shot speak about shooting two arrows dual shot perfect and last here the crystal strike launches a crystal strike at your enemy this oh okay this is not what i expected it also shoots arrows too 
So it's shooting two arrows and it's shooting the, the crystal scepter, whatever the hell that's called. So we're, we're definitely getting into some unique bows here as we enter the hard mode bows. All right, so we got our only repeater from the mod, the fleshy repeater. Shoots a burst of arrows. I don't know why there's only one repeater. I consider repeaters a part of a bow playthrough. There's no doubt about that. Because, like, I don't think you can do a repeater-only playthrough. I think uh, the, that playthrough kind of just stops once you start the game. But maybe there's a mod that adds in a bunch of repeaters early game. Boom, there you go. You could do a full repeater playthrough. But yeah, there's that. Shoots a burst of arrows. Very nice. Spider spitters. Punches your enemies with spider webs. Punches. Damn, look at that. Kind of a cool effect. Does it go away? Okay, it does go away eventually. The arrow looks very unique too. I can't really tell what it is, but it looks cool. Next up, the multi-shot shoots three arrows. I love bows like this. It even has like three strings. That's very nice. Damn, it just shoots pretty fast. After that, the cobalt bow, which I'm assuming we're going to just see a couple of ore bows here. A lightning strike occasionally shoots an electric arrow. Ooh, okay. I, I like the uniqueness of some of these bows. Like, you got some plain boring ones that aren't even that boring. Like, shooting three arrows, like, you got ones like that. You got ones the cobalt bow, it just shoots arrows. And then you got a bunch of these sprinkled in there, which I love to see. Next up, hyperdrive bow. Activates the hyperdrive, rapidly shoots arrows. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, this might be the fastest one yet. I'm assuming it's going to get even faster. And we got the palladium bow, which is just another regular bow. Other than the ore bows, like, we really should be entering some unique bow territory here didn't want to spawn it gave me a coin that's so weird what the heck <laughs> we got the icor bow which i'm assuming just shoots icor icor that's an s tier arrow right there next up armageddon summons even more meteoric hell upon your enemies let's see it in action here okay this could definitely be a way clear type of bow next up techno bow insanely fast but inaccurate cousin of the mega shark okay that's that's pretty accurate maybe not far away but like that's pretty accurate even if you're fighting like a boss like, I feel like at least 80% of these are hitting that boss. Next up, Absolute Zero shoots a spread of frozen arrows. Nice. How many, I wonder? Three, it looks like. Very nice. Hey, look at that. Tier 5 arrow pouch. Next up, Cursed Bow shoots cursed arrows. Let me see this in action here. Okay. So it's pretty much the Icor Bow. Lunar Wrath, the sky is falling. Okay, I expect this to be like a really good Star Fury type of bow. Yes, sir. And we got the Mithril Bow course let me go ahead and test it out on this uh, harder enemy now since our bows are getting a lot stronger we got the great bow it doesn't say anything but it's a great bow look at that he, he's not dying but he wants to stay and fight even though i'm in god mode i, I appreciate the effort we got the orichalcum bow of course just an ore bow we got the crimson death shoots life stealing arrows nice i love me some life steal the terraria devs don't because they like to nerf everything that life steals. Adamantite bow. Wow, so crazy. Titanium bow. Wow, so crazy. Demonic destruction shoots corrupted arrows. Let me see this in action here. I don't know if... Yeah, corrupted arrows, I believe that's a modded arrow. I don't know what their special effect is. Hollowed sight launches a hollowed strike at your enemy. Let me see it in action here. Ooh, okay. That does good damage. That's a lot of stuff coming out too. All right, we got our last set of bows. Starting with the king's bow. Shoots a singular powerful arrow so i'm assuming this is really slow no it's not even that slow this is like a kind of marrow type bow even though it's a little slower than that but you know what i mean oh uh, we got the apollo's volley launches a volley of magma now this should be dope right here oh that's a lot of damage right there look how many arrows i'm shooting out i'm shooting out like fire effects too that's crazy next up true crimson death the central arrow pieces pierces and life steals so shoots a spread of life sucking arrows Oh my. And they shoot pretty fast. See, if we ever do a blow playthrough with this mod, I'm definitely playing on a Crimson World. Look at this. We got the amalgamation. Speed, power, and a lot of arrows. Shoots a spread of powerful arrows. Let's see it in action. I love when the arrows spread. Shell shot. Slow but strong. Shoots a shell arrow. Okay not bad we got the eclipse which is definitely the most unique looking bow so far look at it that's the wrong one look at it that's very unique the sun sets on human life rains destruction from the sky okay so it's another meteor bow pretty much not as cool as i thought it was gonna be honestly but it does do that diablo arrow effect too if we like shoot it at the floor no, it's not doing it now like look when we shot it at the floor it was doing it what? Spectral shot launches homing spectral projectiles. Oh, there you go. Now this ball definitely homes. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to shoot past now. I'm gonna shoot up. 
and it's still hitting them. And we got our last four bows. Let's start with this one. True Demonic Destruction. Shoots a spread of soul crushing arrows. The central arrow pierces and inflicts death. Well, I'm assuming all these arrows inflict death, if you know what I mean. Like, they're bound to kill something. But that bow is very, very nice. Does a lot of damage. Next up, Elemental Wrath. Unleashes the wrath of the elements. Effects of all elemental bows. Okay. Oh my god. This. I'm a mage at this point. This isn't an arrow anymore. This is a, this is a mage playthrough now. Forget the bows. Next up, Poseidon's Wrath. Which, is this another, like, Fishron type bow? Fishron already has one of the greatest bows in the game. But let's see here. Annihilate your opponents with the power of the ocean. Launches an assortment of oceanic attacks. And look at that. It starts raining. Perfect timing. Oh, yes. This does some damage right here. Let me go ahead and get a bunch of them. We're shooting like all of Fishron's attacks. Last but not least, the Heavenly Volley. The power of God lies in your hand. There's no limit to your power. Let's test this out on some bosses. Let's do the King Slime first. Let me go ahead and zoom out here. All right, we're still using regular arrows, by the way. But let's see it in action. Oh my God. Like I said, we're a mage at this point. No more archer. Let's see it on the golem. Forget archery. I'm becoming a mage now. This is without armor too, and without like accessories. Imagine me rocking everything that I need. Then we'd probably be doing even more insane damage. But yeah, that was all the bows. I'm impressed. There's a lot of unique ones in there. There's a lot of not too unique ones, which is also fine because every mod needs something like that to at least fill in like places that don't have content. But I am definitely impressed with what I saw. But yeah, these bows. They're amazing. The accessories are amazing. There's a lot of cool things about this mod. Make sure you guys check it out. Maybe in the future we'll do a playthrough with it. Because bow only is one of my favorite subclasses. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for 300,000 subs. I see y'all. We made it. I love you guys. Next time I stream, there's going to be a face cam. So stay tuned for when I stream. Because it'll be eventually. But yeah, make sure to check out the mod. I'll see y'all next time.